Training a pilot is costly, and teaming him up with a wingman for a simulated dogfight is even more expensive. But pitching him up against a state-of-the-art aircraft is almost impossible. Plagued by such budget constraints and a lack of better training for American pilots, the U.S. Air Force has teamed up with Red Six, a company focused on augmented reality systems that aim to revolutionize the way pilots are trained. The Airborne Tactical Augmented Reality System, or ATARS, introduces simulated aircraft in the pilot's visors when flying. With this new system, the pilot can face any conceivable aircraft, perform barrel rolls, mid-air refuels, and many other maneuvers in high-resolution field of view, just as if they were part of the real landscape. As Red Six co-founder Nick Bacanek said, quote, we built a video game in the sky. A significant problem. For the past decade, the U.S. Air Force has been experiencing a problem that has become an alarming burden for the institution, a pilot shortage. After fighting the war on terror for over 20 years and the subsequent withdrawal from Afghanistan, many seasoned pilots have opted to apply for commercial airline jobs instead of staying or joining the Air Force. According to several statistics, the Air Force is at least 2,000 men short of what it strives to have, and from a purely military and tactical perspective, that poses a significant security problem. The Air Force's numbers are severely lacking against rivals such as Russia and China. With tensions continually rising with Russia, experts have deemed that the Air Force may be operating under capacity, and more importantly, underprepared for a clash with its Cold War-era counterparts. Although the USAF retained air supremacy following the end of World War II through the fall of the Soviet Union, the tide has been changing over the past years. What's more, the problem also comes from its training programs, as Air Force pilots currently under active service are improperly trained. During simulations, American pilots do not engage in aerial dogfighting against the latest aircraft developed by their counterparts, such as the Chinese J-20 or the Russian Su-57. Instead, pilots train against 20-year-old aircraft, such as the F-16 or F-18. This is not the same as being pitched against state-of-the-art aircraft, and when they are, it does not come cheap, as flying around with F-22s and F-35s is extremely costly. However, the USAF seems to have found a definitive resolution with Red Six, a company that aims to revolutionize augmented reality, or AR, for military training applications. Pilot training. Red Six was founded in November of 2017 by Nick Bacanek and Daniel Robinson, a former Royal Air Force Tornado pilot and the first foreign national to fly the powerful F-22. From the beginning, the company was committed to solving several of the USAF's problems, from the shortage of pilots or its training approach to its budget insufficiencies. Their proposed solution is the Airborne Tactical Augmented Reality System, or ATARS. Red Six has taken augmented reality to the next level for use in combat aircraft. In the company's own words, quote, ATARS is a revolutionary approach to augmented reality that now enables it to work outdoors and critically in high-speed dynamic environments. This technological breakthrough enables a new paradigm in air combat training, unleashing the full power of live, virtual, and constructive training by bringing the V and the C assets into the real world, facilitating within visual range maneuvering against synthetic threats. Usually, a pilot learns to fly in two ways. The first one is by flying a real aircraft and experiencing punishing G-forces and extreme temperatures. The second one is through a simulator inside a ground station that allows the pilot to practice tricky maneuvers, like refueling mid-air, and is generally less expensive than taking a fighter jet to the skies. Red Six has developed its system to fuse both types of training scenarios by using sophisticated augmented reality technology that visually simulates other aircraft on a pilot's visor while they are flying. Unlike virtual reality, or VR, which features a made-up environment, augmented reality, or AR, allows the pilot to see the real world while adding synthetic objects, like fighter jets or other aircraft. Such breathtaking technology was previously unavailable because AR did not function properly while outdoors due to its peak brightness. 
but Red Six's ATARS has come such a long way that the USAF and Lockheed Skunk Works have partnered with the company to further develop the technology. During an interview with Mike Killian from Skies, Colonel Randall Gordon, Vice Commander of the 412th Test Wing at Edwards AFB in Southern California, said, quote, We were familiar with the dream and the concept of augmented reality in flight training, but we were always told that was years away. And then we walk in and actually realize, no, it's today. Airborne Tactical Augmented Reality System As of today, ATARS is fully functional on an experimental piston-powered Berkut, but the company and the Air Force have already signed a $70 million contract to develop ATARS for other aircraft, such as the T-38 training jet and the F-16. Four modules form the backbone of the system. One module tracks everything, another creates wide-view AR images, and the remaining two track the head and the aircraft. This allows the pilot to take off as usual and see other aircraft in high resolution and color across his wide field of view as if they were part of the ambiance. Red Six co-founder Nick Buchanan told Killian that, in other words, quote, We built a video game in the sky, except it's not something you play for fun. It's a highly accurate, high-fidelity simulation to enhance training capabilities and the warfighter. Everything we've built was based on moving quickly and showing a solution to a problem rather than creating technology and having to then find a problem for it. The unique visor features a 105-degree field of view and is integrated on top of the HGU-55 helmet. Besides this sophisticated device, the Burkut's cockpit is also highly innovative, as it has no flight instrument. Instead, it features a simulated tactical display that provides relevant information to a specific target. In addition to putting virtual aircraft into the pilot's line of sight, the trainees can also simulate mid-air refueling and even engage in dogfights. Robinson added, quote, For example, when we train and we do air-to-air -air combat training, we always have rules of safety in place. We're not allowed to get within a thousand feet of each other, and we can't take head-on gunshots because it leads to collisions and really dangerous things. But that is not how we fight for real. So how do you do that in training? With this tool, you can. You can start to give these students a look at how it would actually be in real life. With ATARs, pilots can now engage any aircraft type, including the most modern fighter jets currently in use by the Russians and the Chinese. It is only a matter of code. If you have the intelligence, you can code it, and have a dogfight against a Chinese J-20 or a Russian Su-57. The Air Force has bet that ATARs will not just save money in the long run, but will result in more efficient training for pilots to get them combat ready against the most recent air threats. They also expect that the number of recruits ready to become pilots will increase with the introduction of the system. The Future Robinson expects that ATARs will be up and running on the T-38 training jet sometime in 2023. If it proves safe and the Red Six team can create a network in which multiple aircraft can connect and train, Robinson believes it will be a game changer for the future of a pilot's training. While Red Six and the Air Force continue to cooperate and further develop the system for air warfare, Robinson and his team intend to expand and establish a joint augmented battle space to aid all branches of the U.S. military. It appears as though it is only a matter of time before militaries worldwide begin waging large-scale simulated battles with the power of this impressive technology. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the endless possibilities of the augmented reality system developed by Red Six. Stay tuned.